Yeah, we got to stop with the slave movies. We need yeah. to see all the movies of our great ancestors and what they were doing. The right. empires, you know, the kingdoms and how successful we were. That's why I love Black Panther. Like, um, oh, yeah, Black yeah, Panther. I, I love it. I love it because... I was talking I, about Mansa Musa. Huh? Black Panther was actually talking about Mansa Musa, the king of Mali. He was the richest man on the planet, a black man. Oh, wow. That's what Black Panther was talking about. Oh. All of that. And it was a place in Africa as well, right? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. What is it? What is Mali. it called? Um, oh, Wakanda. 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 Yeah. Wakanda. 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 Yeah. Wakanda. Yeah. Wakanda. Yeah. Wakanda. Yeah. Wakanda. Yeah. Wakanda. That's like yeah. the concept of that is, yeah. just, is a beautiful thing. Yeah, the, the story is written as King T'Challa or, you know, the, who is the Black Panther was worth over $90.7 trillion. He had more money and more wealth than Batman, Iron Man, etc. That was yep. the comic book. How the comic book the only yeah. man who reached that type of wealth was Mansa Musa, the King of Mali, a black Muslim. He was the richest man on the planet to date. No one else is richer than that man. So that movie was fashion after, you know. See, why is that publicized more? They can't do that. Just like you can't Superman as a black man. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't what? get mad. Wait, tell us that for me. Wait, 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 wait. I'm already going to lose you. Like, are you going to show me? Did you say Superman as a black man? Come on, no, you, you. I ain't you know, know this. You know, I, I ain't know this. Yeah, yeah, I ain't know this. Nah, it's all truth, bro. Right. Okay. Okay, well, Superman is a black man. Number one, his name is Kyle L. L is a Hebrew name. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. he gets his power from the sun, which means you must have melanin. Well, Carbon 12. You fact. must have, you be black. Yeah. Uh, the, he had an S on his chest, but the original drawings was an upside down pyramid with a snake going through it in Egypt. You have all these different facts that connect, and he also was faster than a speeding bullet. The comic books that was written at the time during Adolf Hitler's race and Jesse Owens, the book and the uh. two brothers, uh, Siegel and Schuster, fashioned his speed after Jesse Owens because he beat Adolf Hitler. And then the comic yeah. book, it was Superman yeah. defeating Adolf Hitler. I can go down this list all day long. Oh. Superman was a black man. Don't get mad again. <laughs> so what happened in the interpretation of the author? What, what, what happened oh, there? Oh, of course. Jack Kirby and, uh, let me see, Stan Lee. Okay. Stan Lee said that he fashioned these cartoon characters, for example, Magneto and Professor Xavier. Professor Xavier wanted to integrate with the people, wanted to kill him, et cetera, nonviolent, let us come together. He fashioned him after Martin Luther King. Mm. Magneto said by any means necessary is what they put. They said Magneto in the cartoon did not want to integrate. He wanted to have a world just with the mutants or these people who had superhuman abilities. And so he fashioned him after Malcolm X. Stan Lee said that the civil rights movement is what inspired a large. Wait, who after Malcolm X? Who? who? Magneto. 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 I could see that now that you say it. Yeah, yeah. he fashioned a lot of the superheroes after civil rights leaders. Ah, Stan and Lee. We gotta, said that. While, while we on this, you got we gotta talk about Jesus being black. Oh yeah, of course, Jesus. So first of all, his name wasn't Jesus. There was no J in the Hebrew language uh, prior to the 1600s. The letter J didn't come into existence. Number one. Number two, his name was Esau. His name was Esau. Yeshua. You know, different uh, names you want to give him. Joshua. Uh, no. Yeshua. Yeshua. No. You know, you Yahweh. Have no, that's God. No, that's God. Right, okay. right. But there are different names, but none of them had the letter J. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, yes, he was a black man in Palestine. That's in Africa, and right. you have to be olive dark skin in order for you to live in that area because they didn't have no SPF 20, 30, or 40. Right. Some right. protect. And, you know, skin protecting to, you know, no, <laughs> no sunblock. So you had to live in that area and be a black man. His mother was a Egyptian, Mother Mary. All of these things. He had hair like lamb's wool. That's in the yeah. Bible. He had skin as burnished brass, burning in an oven. That's in the Bible. So he was absolutely described as a black man. Yep. Plain and simple. People, don't, people say, well, God doesn't see color. Stop it. Just God stop is a it. What? They say God doesn't see color. Okay. No, God does see color. You know, right. but it doesn't mean, oh, because I'm this color, I'm better or right. worse. Okay. It's just that's the reality. I'm looking at him. He's lighter than me. I can't right. say I'm colorblind. The brother's right. lighter than me. Yes. What's the problem? Right. There's nothing wrong with that. He's lighter. Right. Okay, we probably the same complexion. Right. Right. What's the problem? Right. See, people don't want to speak real, man. They right. want to get real sensitive nowadays. Right. You can't right. just speak the truth. And that's why the world is in the condition that it's in. Okay, now I got to ask go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Donald Trump. Is, what is going on? The first Cheeto president. <laughs> the first orange president. Oh, Cheetos, <laughs> Cheetos. I'm like, I'm like, what's Cheetos mean? Okay, okay. Man, I, I'll say this. Um, Donald J. Trump is a gift and a curse, specifically for black people in America, black, brown, and impoverished people in America. Why? Number one, he is one of the only presidents who came out and told the straight truth about how he feels. Yeah, I don't right. like you. I don't like you. You niggas. And that's good. You that's good or bad. Because well, we it's, finally it's, have yeah. a president that's honest with us. Yeah, yeah, Stop yeah, yeah. lying. Damn, thank okay. you for saying that. Agendas. They, exactly. Right. No, right. he's he just telling you straight. I don't like you. I don't like you. You a nigga. You rapist. Right. Whatever. You know, he's just saying that straight. So, so nobody's like, surprised about the agenda. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so if you're surprised, and it's clear that you are still stuck. Okay. Right. He is one of the only ones to be completely upfront about how he feels. Number one. Number two. By him being honest about how he feels about black, brown, and impoverished people, which includes impoverished 
poor white people. Absolutely. He don't care yeah. about them either, really. Yeah, he don't care about them By either. I'll be telling honest, my, my poor white friends that. With all of us that. like that, forces us to come together. Because the master wow. and controller and commander in chief of the highest office in the land told you straight up, I don't like you, you a nigga. I don't like you. Go back home. It's like, well, damn. Yeah. What does that mean then? Okay, maybe I should stop fighting with you, my brother, yeah. because the president sees us as one people. So maybe we should see ourselves as one people. Uh, one, one of the things that... Um and you probably will know, know about this more than me, but I heard one of the oldest Mexican gangs and one of the oldest like Crip or Blood gangs finally had squashed their beef this year. And 13s and East Coast Crips. Yeah, okay. I, yes. I, 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 I didn't dope. know who, who it legitimate. was. That's legitimate. Y'all should and clap for that if you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. One of the um, one of my LA people said, "Yo, it's big." Yes, sir. And then huge. And, and I said, That's huge. That's huge. And I said, man. I said, because you know I don't know. I'm an East Coast guy, mm-hmm. so I said, "Yo, why is it big?" They said it's been warring forever. Yes. But they Over said, 20 years. Donald Trump made that happen, and I, I got I got chills. No, 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 no. I got chills. He said, what? they said we both realized he's both our enemy. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, yeah. like I, I mean, like chills, yeah. like. He came down my body, yeah. like, and in and, and, and that way, mm-hmm. it's kind of good, right? Absolutely, see that, and that's the point. Who inspired that thought in them and between them? It wasn't just Donald Trump. Right, right. We in the Nation of Islam met with them because they said we want to squash his beef. The Western Regional Representative of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, Student uh. Minister Abdul Malik Saeed Muhammad, his former wow. name was Tony Muhammad. Okay. He was called uh. by them. And they said, listen. By both want, gangs? By both gangs. Oh, we want to squash this. We have Mexicans in the nation. See, well, this is very clear. We, right. we, are, we are the original people. Right. Like Brian Arrest, we're together. Right. But they told them, listen, we want to squash this. It's a lot of killing going on. Right. So Minister Abdul Malik said, okay, what would you like to do when you like to meet? Let's, we can do this. Right. We, I was there. I want to make this very clear. Wow. Came together, wow. sat down, a large amount of them, a large amount of our brothers from the East Coast. Mm. And they both on each side said we need to stop the killing. They right. each stood up and said, some of your people from your side knocked off a few of our little homies, you know, named a couple right. of them, et cetera, et cetera. So what do you got to say about that? The other side got up, apologized. They both apologized. You knocked off some of ours. Right. So we're going to do. We're going to end this. We're going to keep killing. They both agreed to end it. Big homies brought down the order. Wow. No more killing of blacks. Wow. Mm. No more killing of Mexicans. Wow. We're ending this today. That order went, trickled down all the way through right. the hoods. Right. So it's a reality. And what was one of the catalysts, one of the factors that helped them to see that it is better to unite? Donald Trump. Wow. Because what he is planning wow. and has planned to do That's comes out of black and brown. Yeah. He got Mexican children in cages. Yeah. Right. He got black folks staying in prison when right. they should have been out. Yeah. So it's like, well, damn, if this person has this much control over right. both of us, right. we ain't got no business being divided over here. That's Neither weird. one of us own the blocks that we banging from. Neither one of us own the cities that we Woo! claim. Neither one of us own any of this, but yet I have the audacity to sit there and bang on somebody just because he's lighter than me, not realizing that he's a third African. He's partly my cousin. Wow. This is family right here. Wow. So we need to understand that this is family wow. business. This. Come together and stop killing yourselves because the enemy is planning to kill us all. Mm. And that's the situation. Wow. It's such a good thing to buy and conquer. Wow. It's uniting and building, right. not you know dividing and conquering. Right. But we, um, I also want to uh, reiterate this because there's white Muslims as well. Because oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I want I want you to say that too because I don't want people to. Oh, like, there are yes, yeah. there are white Muslims absolutely, right. Right. absolutely. That believe in the same thing. That believe in the same guy. Yes, they read the Holy Quran. They speak right. in Arabic and pray right. five times. Yes, absolutely. Right. And and you 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 got locked up. On the end of oh, the year? Yes, sir. Yes, what sir. the hell happened? Like, everybody like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> he real, he my, friend real Sonny, my, my, my friend Sonny, my friend from Sonny D said, yo, you know, he got locked up. I said, no, I didn't know that. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. What, what, Speaking what? the truth has its consequences, brother. Okay. And I feel like I'm, I'm among... Mm. You know our, our leadership. I'm among the you know mm. those who came before me. Right. So a, a price you will pay for speaking the truth against a government that is diametrically opposed to your rise is being in prison. Wow. That is one of the prices you will have to pay. I wasn't locked up for anything. You know, stealing, robbing, none of that nonsense. No, I spoke the truth, and yes, I had to pay the price for it. Wow. I went down, but when I got locked up and went in jail, I went in jail seeing some of the people who I had helped. Years before, who I was tutoring and getting them off of drugs, who I was working with their families, getting them out of prison, getting their children back. And they said, Reese, what the hell are you doing here? You the one be keeping us out of here. Some of the brothers from the East Coast in there, some of our F-13 brothers in there, some of our Samoan brothers in there, and they knew me. They said, you don't belong in here. What the hell are you doing? 
one. They said if they got you, they we ain't got no damn chance. <laughs> <laughs> I said, don't worry about it, brother. Don't worry. This